propaganda of Facebook. Yeah. But in Al Qaeda, they were very successful because they said if states can outsmart the international humanitarian law and take people such miles out of their territory, that is how do we handle those challenges? Where the yeah, law, I mean, uh, an example was uh, there were 200 private students who came to the UN Legislative Coordinator during the Gaza, the, the South Lebanon attack. Mm -hmm. And at that time, there was a Security Council discussion on the danger of Iran's nuclear weapons. And these students came and the resident coordinator was listening to these people, what they were doing. He was positive. And, and they asked, in the context of UN, whether we are humanitarian, you know, we don't go by DPA and Security Council, he said, what was the urgency in terms of saving human lives mm -hmm. for the Security Council, the war in Gaza, sorry, in, in South Lebanon, or the issue of Iran, which could become a threat in Canada. The resident coordinator could not speak to And these were students coming from one of the best universities in the country. Yeah, I mean, this is clearly, uh, it's, there's a phrase that's used by in the military these days, which is lawfare. The idea of fighting war through the manipulation of the law. And this idea of, from the perspective of the U.S., you know, putting watch on more 90 miles off the coast of Florida, from the perspective of Al Qaeda and other armed groups saying um, that you, the state has obligations that it has violated, and therefore now we're going to engage in these actions. And certainly we see that happening more and more. And I think the more access groups have to minute by minute news coverage, uh, I mean, I think. 30 years ago, our colleagues were not necessarily interacting with armed groups that could see in their on their laptops the latest UN Security Council resolution. Right? It's a different world. You're operating in an environment in which the understanding of what's going on is also very different as well. Let me move past the qualification question, unless there are other questions on this. No? Okay. So we'll come did you have a question? No. Okay. So we'll come back to this uh, again, but I, the point essentially being that it's, it's important for us to be aware of the way in which the shifting dynamic of war, the shifting dynamic of armed conflict has implications for UNICEF. And I'm not even talking here about conflict analysis or detailed, the history of the armed group. No, that's a different, very, I don't need to walk that. That's very important. We should do that. There are people that are very good at it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a very clear, succinct understanding what do we think this situation qualifies as, and bullet points, what are the implications of that qualification. That's all. nothing more than that in any kind of um, deep political science analysis. Um, let me now not go back one. Sorry. Okay, I'll come back to these things, but I want to lose in context. Okay, so. It's 345. Okay. How many? Three, okay. okay. Do you want to take, mm -hmm. take a quick sure. break? Come yeah, back. What's your break situation? Five, okay. ten? 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 Perfect. Okay, 10 minutes. Let's get started. It's coming in. Alright. I can listen to her. She's pushed. I like it. She's pushed. 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 This is still recording or stop? Still recording is what I can see.
Take uh, 10 to allow the smoke break. So the test is going to do the smoke How are you? Good to see you. Yeah. Then I would just like to ask you, maybe it's a plan. I think that's because they're electrons. Do you know who has the test? I don't know who's got the test. But at the end of the day, we'll be able to tell. Oh, I wish no one had this one, I can take this one because I'm not using I'm going to take this one out to be This has to be fixed. This one is 290290. No, 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 no,